There is a nation of people that stand out in the annals of history like no other people. It is a people, though small in number and geographical area, have somehow had their hands on the throat of power throughout modern history. I am talking about the peoples of Bavaria. It seems as though these people, or persons of German descent, in the 18th through 21st century have been at the center of so much death, destruction, and deception that it would be a sin not to take a look at them in detail in our quest for understanding. Once I started digging into the history of Bavaria, I came up with a pattern that defies all the laws of compound probabilities in that most of the world's European royalty, American presidents, leaders, and huge percentage of the population of Europe are all barbarian stock. Let's start with Germany itself, shall we? It is reported that Germans started World War I and World War II, and that is the true reason the Berlin Wall was erected to split that particular seed up. It was said back in the days of old, the German people were always a warlike people that needed conflict to survive. It is the second war that piqued my interest in their uniqueness among mankind. It is well documented through doc documentaries and books the Germans during the Hitler era were deep into the occult. They were trying to tap into who they thought were their ancient ancestor spirits to gain ancient knowledge, when in fact they tapped into a demonic spirit world and gained unprecedented knowledge of space, time, and mechanics. It is said and shown on newsreels, the Germans were at least 25 years ahead of the rest of mankind in all facets of science. Something was whispering in the ear of the German scientists for such a spike in technology advances to basically happen overnight. Speaking of spirits, how else do you explain how millions of Germans home and abroad could get swept up into such a frenzy and give their body and soul to one man the way they did. I seen the newsreels and by the look in their eyes and the words coming out of their mouths and the actions they took, it is painstakingly clear the Germans actually believe Adolf Hitler was their promised spiritual Christian Messiah. Hitler had a way of finagling Christian words with hidden pagan meanings that deceived an entire seed of people. Here is a small sample of Hitler's Christian propaganda. According to Mein Kampf, quote, I believe today that my conduct is in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator. Today, Christians stand at the head of Germany and I pledge that I will never tie myself to parties who want to destroy Christianity. We want to fill our culture again with the Christian spirit. Example, Hitler had the German people hooked, lined, and sinkered. Everyone from the elderly to the infants. Check out a verse to a song that was sung daily by the children of the Hitler youth camps. Quote, leader, my leader, given to me by God. Protect me and sustain my life. For a long time you have rescued Germany out of the deepest misery. To you I owe my daily bread. Leader, my leader, my belief, my light. Leader, my leader, do not abandon me. Example. Now that's some dedication for your ass. And to think, Joseph Ratzinger, <coughs> excuse me. I mean, Pope Benedict was an admitted member of the youth Hitler youth camps as well. Question, did you know that Catherine the Great of Russia was also of pure barbarian stock, which would make the remaining czars, emperors, Paul I, Alexander I, Nicholas I, etc., and then you know you got the second and third after them, named after their daddies, that were from her loins, it would make them have Bavarian stock also. We can't forget the Bavarian Illuminati, 
was founded in 1776 by Adam Weissap. Can we? You talk about influential people. Martin Luther. No, not Michael King Jr. <laughs> Excuse me. Martin Luther King Jr. I'm talking about the real Martin Luther. This guy changed the entire world with the declaration he nailed to the church door. African Americans' whole style of worship is shaped by this German man. Karl Marx was another person that swayed tens of millions of people with his satanic philosophies. Just about every satanic quantum physic, physicist who has won the Nobel Peace Prize have been German. Even after losing two world wars, they are presently the number one economy in the whole of Europe and is basically the purse strings for the entire European Union. Frederick Nietzsche, satanic philosophies are permeated throughout the world to this very day. Almost half of the population of Great Britain are German due to the aboriginal inhabitants hiring the Saxons to come fight their many wars against the aboriginal Picts. The Saxons were fierce in battle and rarely lost and eventually moved their families across the pond to a much better farmlands in England. The practice continued and the Germans were able to seize control of the kingdom and the lineage of Queen Elizabeth was born. Of course, the, with kingship, your court and nobles were also of German descent. That leads us to America. Did you know almost one third of all Americans are of German ancestry? According to Wikipedia under German American slash history, quote, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, however, kept his promise to German Americans that they would not be hounded as in 1917 through 18. Roosevelt made a deliberate effort to name prominent German Americans to top war jobs, including Dwight D. Eisenhower, Admiral Chester Mintz, General Charles Spatz, and even Republican Wendell Willeke. Several thousand vocal opponents of the war were in prison. Thousands were forced to buy war bonds to show their loyalty. Some Germans at the time Americanized their names, e.g. Schmidt to Smith, and limited their use to Germ of the German language in public places. Immigrants from Germany brought many different religions with them. The largest number were generally Catholic or Lutherans, although the Lutherans were split in several ways. Still another German Protestant were not Lutherans, but were descendants of the United Evangelical Church in Germany. Who? United Evangelical Church in Germany. Evangelicals. You'll start tying this thing in. You'll start tying it in. Let's keep going. Many immigrants joined, joined quite different churches from those in Germany, especially the Methodist Church. Now, under the same section in Wikipedia called German American Presidents. Many presidents, say that again, many presidents of the United States have had some German ancestry. However, there have only been two presidents with primary German her heritage. Dwight D. Eisenhower, whose original family name was Eisenhower, E-I-S-E-N-H-A-U-E-R and Herbert Hoover whose originally family name was Uber H-U-B-E-R Example Has anyone other than myself picked up on the fact that the German people were fighting each other during World War I and World War II? The Russians England Germany and America But wait If you're still not convinced the seed of Bavaria is the seed of the evildoers Maybe these next two examples will change your perception. This is going to take a spiritual mind to truly grasp the monumental significance to this next fact. But I am certain even the layman will not deny the compound probability of this occurring naturally is a number beyond infinity. According to Mail Online News, 
is Great Britain's news. Under, is ruling in the genes? Quote, all presidents bar one are directly descended to a medieval English king. I'm going to read that again. All presidents bar one are directly descended from a medieval English king. What do Barack Obama, Thomas Jefferson, George W. Bush, and other past U.S. presidents have in common? Besides holding the covenant title of commander-in-chief, it appears that all of them but one are cousins. The remarkable discovery was made by 12-year-old Bridget Ann De De Avnon of Salinas, California, who created a groundbreaking family tree that connected 42 of the 43 U.S. presidents to one common and rather unexpected ancestor, King John of England. Example, guess what lineage King John of England is? <laughs> you guessed it. He is German. He was of the Saxe, Coburg, Gotha, Ottenburg clan. According to Wikipedia under House of Windsor, quote, the House of Windsor is the royal house of the United Kingdom and the other Commonwealth realms. It was founded by King George V by royal proclamation on 17 July 1917. When he changed the name of his family from the German Saxon Coburg and Gotha, which is a branch of the House of Witten, to the English Windsor due to the anti-German sentiment in the British Empire during World War I. Example, how is this for coincidence odds compound probability? To further the affliction, guess who is the only president that is not of the Germanic sea? The only president disgraced by treason, Martin Van Buren, who was Dutch. This fact will make me take another perspective look at what his actual crime was again. What are the odds of this naturally occurring, I asked gentle strangers. Hmm? But I want, to take, I want to take it back to Adolf Hitler and the generation we are still looking at to this present day. Again, I, I, I don't know which video I talked about it on, but we are looking at a generation of people who have, bar none as a whole in ratio, the most blood and wickedness at their doorstep and on their hands. Everyone from World War II and these Germans all the way up to the Southerners in, in, in America, lynching Jim Crow. And when we, now, as we read, when we say American, Shh, man, a third of all Americans are German. So, but let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. I want to bring it back to the... It is, what, it is a well known that he and his staff were dedicated on contacting the spirits of their ancient ancestors for knowledge and power. Through his own writings and propaganda, this cat, along with his entire kindred seed, realized they were the offsprings of being unlike regular humans, like you and I. And his mission was to bring the Aryan races back to their former glory. This is the reason why he was so insistent on keeping the Aryan blood bloodline pure. Only the pure blood Aryan can become an Ubermensch, which is above human being, a Superman. For this reason, the Aryan Barbarian Eugenics Program got its dubious beginnings. Under the name Lesbon, Lesbon, L-E-B-E-N-S-B-O-R-N, the state supported birthing facilities whose charter was to raise the birth rate of Aryan children from extramarital relations of racially pure and healthy parents. In essence, Hitler sponsored a whorehouse with the hopes of his whores getting pregnant to raise a master race of white man. Yep. I have come to realize the saying of Hitler lost the war, Germany didn't, is true. Why? Because even though his regime is not intact, his ideology is carried on to this very day. 
Project Paperclip is a declassified report on how the Americans gave amnesty and prominent positions to the same Nazi scientists they was just fighting against. The overall thought was if the Americans didn't get the scientists and their knowledge, which was 25 years ahead of everyone else, the Russians would. So, the NSA space program was formed directly from defected German scientists. In fact, it is safe to say just about all forms of American academics, science, physics, mathematics, and psychological life was changed and socially orchestrated by the same occultist German defectors. Meaning, the German mindset and way of life only relocated to the up and coming superpower of the world. Eugenic centers and seminars sprung up all over the place in America, gaining a foothold into some of the southern states first, and then later into academia and universities as a core subject. They knew laws and forced sterilization became the normal way of life for the downtrodden while new technologies were being designed to mass control the rest. Hey, that was the exact same thing Germany was doing to its people. I said all of that to say, now that I realize nothing has changed in the elite's mindset, we must go back and see what exactly was Hitler after in the first place. I mean, what was he truly after? Due to his insistence on pure blood and the reasons behind it, I think they are looking for the specific bloodline slash genetic code that will take them back to their original source, the pure sons of the giant genes. Why else would the world be so interested in your genes? In the entire of Great Britain and some states in the US, it is mandatory to give a genetic sample if you are arrested for a crime. Not convicted, mind you. Just being arrested is grounds for giving a sample. The authorities will come up with any excuse to go on your DNA, any blood fluid, or well, excuse me, any body fluid, blood drives, life insurance, drug screens, pap smears, paternity tests, universal health care, etc. I have a loose educated conspiracy theory that should tie in perfectly to the end of this book. Just like the age-old saying, the thief always returns to the crime, I think the same logic applies to the axes of evil we are dealing with today. They can't help themselves but to gloat and admire their handiwork in plain view of everyone, only in reverse. The movie saga Star Wars and Transformers proved this point perfectly. There was more to Germany's pure blood ideology than meets the eye. The white masons will confess their supposed secret knowledge has something to do with the blood. I believe the movie Da Vinci Code was a somewhat was a somewhat overview to the world's elite belief system. Only in reverse. If it is true Satan the devil is in control of the world, the entire world is deceived and he, will, he is the big papa of lies, it would only be prudent to realize everything, including information, is designed and presented to fit his goals, which is to deceive. I truly believe the DNA database being compiled by the Alphabet Boys, the CIA, FBI, MIB, NSA, local law enforcement, isn't for fighting crime or anything that straightforward. I believe the elite are trying to locate certain genetic individuals to continue their mission they set out to do in the first place. Now, before you totally write me off as crazy, let's see if this rings a bell in modern times. According to Wikipedia under Super Race, Homo Galactica, quote, the neo-Nazi David Muet advocated in the early 1990s that after the Western Imperium, which was the Fourth Reich, 
fourth rule, a proposed future autocratic state governing all the areas inhabited by the Aryan races is established. Come on here, check this out. Then a super race called Homo Galactica should be created by genetic engineering from the most perfect Aryans, which by then will have themselves been improved through genetic enhancement. This new super race would be genetically engineered to have super brains, super senses, and more delicate hands to be able to travel in spaceships, which would be sent out to colonize the entire Milky Way galaxy with the descendants of Aryans. Question. Example. Question. Isn't that what NASA is doing at this very second? Are they not trying to colonize Mars in 2025 with the moon to quickly follow? Are they not hell-bent on genetic engineering? Have they not constantly bombarded the public with images of hybrids and superhumans, thus prepping you for their next step in mankind's evolution? But wait! To prove to you this is not just the Caucasian of the Aryan races perception only, but the understanding of all the Aryan nations as a whole, check this out. Though the peoples of India slash Pakistan were not infected with the white skin disease until recent history, the Kirkins, Alexander the Great, Great Britain, they are still considered to be of the Aryan slash European branch of humanity. According to the same Wikipedia website under Yogaric Superman, Quote, Siri Aurobindo developed a system of yoga called integral, integral Yoga to transform selected humans into a new super race called the Superman that would have a fully and permanently awakened Kundalini. And their belief states there is a Kundalini snake at the base of your spine that when awakened travels through your body energy points until it reaches a position between your eyes. This is what they call the third eye. And go back to it. And thus becomes Siddhas with various Satis, which are paranormal powers, such as the ability to observe chakras and auras with the third eye, to travel by astral travel at will, to be able to subsist adequately with full body functions on small amounts of vegetarian food, to go long periods without sleep, to communicate by telepathy, and to levitate. The function of this new super race would not be to dominate others, but to lead humanity towards world peace. Hmm with lion wonders and the mission of peace he will conquer many. Hmm. But let me keep going. According to Siri Arabindo, the central theme of integral yoga is the evolution of life into a life divine. Siri Arabindo's this disciple who is mother the mother established a ashram city called Euroville in, I can't pronounce, some kind of district in the state of Tamil Nadu, India in 1968 for what? To train and develop this new super race through yogic practices. On January 1st, 1969, Siri Yarabindo, integral yoga co-worker and disciple, the mother, at age 90, announced the arrival of the Superman consciousness. The intermediary between man and the supramental being. Example. Wow. So, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, you have to look past certain things. You got to get the, glean the information that you hear and most importantly understand the information that they don't say so there's a specific seed 
of people. And I haven't even talked about the Neanderthals. I, I've cut that out because I've talked about them on so many other videos. But get, guess why they're called Neanderthals? Can, can you want to guess? It's because the bones were found in Neanderthal Germany. That was the cradle of civilization but, uh, on the other side of the Pyrenees in France. Right there in, in heart, the heart of Bavaria. <laughs> Man, this one seed has caused so much despair upon the earth. And they are, have been in control of the entire earth. All the Muslim countries, guess what? They're infected by that seed too. Because I'm talking about the, 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 the upper class, uh, the people who are in power. People who have money, the people, the movers and the shakers, the white skin, the, the light skin people. Yeah, they, they've, they've been integrated with the Ottoman Turks and Ottoman Turks. Well, we, already, we already know. Hell, they, they're Turkic. <laughs> yeah, so they're all the same damn people. So you can take the information for what it is. Paint your own picture, but I know what picture I look at, and I am pinpointing or I'm trying my best and asking y'all for understanding on exactly the seed I should be dealing with. Now, because they it has integrated into hell, uh, one third of all people in in America by itself, one half of Great Britain. Then I don't know. What's that old saying? Uh, kill them all and let 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 y'all sort them out. Well, I hate them all. I don't let y'all sort them out. I know it would only be prudent if I know this firsthand beforehand. There's a certain this seed of people is not right. Then why on earth? Well, one we integrate with them. Two, we not separate from them. Well. Uh, well, I know why. It's because y'all got a delusion spirit on us. But I pray every day that he save us. You know, that's that's my prayer. Um, but thank you for looking at this video. Um, I don't know which one's going to be next, but it's, it's coming. And as always, have a good day.